Howdy everyone, Warstarcy here, and today we're going to be looking at A Winter's Daydream on PS4. A Winter's Daydream is a visual novel about a guy named Yu who moved away to Tokyo to go to a university and how one day when visiting his grandmother, she suddenly turned into a young girl. The game has no choices, rather you read along with the story, occasionally earning a trophy when you hit a certain part. There's no voice acting either, so the only things you'll be hearing is the music with occasional sounds that will play when certain things and scenes happen. There are various supporting characters including Yu's family, starting off with his younger sister, which upon first meeting, I wished he'd just hit with a frying pan as she's one of those kind of younger sisters. Other characters include the mom that still likes to baby you a little and the dad named Tisako who likes to playfully poke fun at everyone. Both favor Otako because she's the younger sibling. Then of course there's the grandmother, Umeko, who is kind and a little teasing as well like a fox according to you. But anyway, we find out that Yu goes to visit his grandmother for a few reasons, the immediate being to get away from Otako, and the other being to catch up with her as his grandfather Yukinari passed away over a year ago and he feels guilty for the fact that he never got to know him or his grandmother that much. So they catch up and Umiko tells Yu about how they met how life was and such. Eventually out the window a shooting star falls and they make a wish. Of course, the next morning when Yu wakes up and goes to breakfast, he enters the room to a younger girl cooking that turns out to be his grandma. Of course, she's rather unfazed by this and in fact sees this as a way to get out of the house and go places, something she wasn't able to do before due to her old age and weak body, including getting something to wear to visit the shrine she first met Yukinari. This leads on an interesting story filled with plenty of deep moments, backstory, character development, and bonding between grandmother and grandson. There's also plenty of lighthearted scenes, including a bus ride where the driver, Mr. Nakamura, thinks Umeko is Yu's girlfriend, which she plays around with at his expense. So without spoiling the rest of the story, which there's plenty of, let's talk about the game. Each scene is drawn full of details, be it a kitchen, a living room, a hallway, the outdoors. Each scene is full of various things you'd find in said place, and is drawn beautifully, and the soothing music complements every setting. I mean, I really love the music. I think my favorite track is the one that first plays when you're in an antique store. The cool thing is, when you finish the story, the music will be available in the extras menu for you to listen to uh, at command. The sounds complement everything as well. Not just the brief ones, but ambient ones as well. For example, a quiet wind during an outside scene. When you beat the game, the extras menu will become available, containing an art gallery of all the images you've seen, music, and notes from the creator, which, in response to the final paragraph of them, this did put a smile on my face, and I quite enjoyed the story. All in all, coming from someone who doesn't care much for visual novels, I think this is a new favorite for me, and I can appreciate how this is based on emotions the writer felt from real events in his life. It's it's not too long a story, it's only a few hours, but it's also a cheap game for 6 bucks, so I'd say it's fairly priced. But anyway, if you want this game yourself, it's available for 6 bucks on the PSN store. Definitely worth it in my opinion. I'd like to thank sometimes you for sending me the review key. This is Warsarcy on the Game Clips channel, and I'm out.